What is up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how you can create this regular 3D animated t-shirt mock-up. It's only going to take a couple of minutes and it is super easy to use. Um, I'm going to show you the process of adding different effects like acid wash and puff print and then you can also add uh, walking animations and wave effects and then finally export uh, video image or a 3d model so let's get this started so first you're going to need to go to virtualthreads.io and scroll down on the page there are some free mock-ups to use such as the oversized t-shirt and the hanging hoodie but for this specific tutorial we will be using one of the pro plan mock-ups um, so keep that in mind so it might take a couple of seconds for your product to load and then it will spin onto the screen. So to rotate the product, all you have to do is left click and drag. Um, and as you can see, the product is pretty realistic. So it's a really nice way to represent your 2D designs in 3D. And you can scroll the mouse wheel in and out and you can check out the uh, nice textures that we've added as well. So the first step to adding your logo or graphic is going to the top left hand corner of the screen and selecting upload your design. A 2D window will then appear in the bottom right hand corner of the screen and you can see we've got some different options. So let's upload our design to start with. I've got this graphic that I created in Kittle um, but you can use any design but I recommend using a transparent PNG to get best results. So select open and you can see the design is instantly projected onto the 3D model. To move your design, just left click and drag and you can place it absolutely anywhere on the 3D model. So right now it's a little too big. So left click it and click and drag to resize the design. Let's place this first one in the center front of the model. You can upload as many designs as you want. So let's add another one on the back. Again, the same process, left click and drag, place it on the back of the design of the product. And let's place one finally on the sleeve just to show you guys how it works. So we've got the two sleeves labeled left and right in the bottom of the page. So now we have all of our designs in position. If you want to, you can save the layout for later and you can load it back in. You can also add text and you can draw on the garment. So the next step is we want to adjust the color of the garment. Simply go to the garment color tab, select the color picker, and now you can experiment with different colorways. Um, this is super satisfying to use. And if you're not 100% sure on what colorway you want to use yet, this is a, a great way to experiment with that. Uh, but for this particular garment, I'm just going to keep it black. And note that I'm not going right to the bottom. I think to get an accurate black tone, you want to bring it around to this level. So you still get the nice shading on the garment. After that, we can adjust the background. Again, you can use the color picker. And it's just as simple as picking the color for the garment. Um, and you can use yeah the color picker here. So if we want to select that yellow, then maybe bring it slightly lighter like this. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. It goes with the cyberpunk feel. Um, you can also upload a background image, which I'll show you now. So just simply click upload background image. And it's the same process as when we added a design. So select upload design. And I will use the same graphic. And you can position it anywhere behind your garment. Um, but let's leave it as a color for now. So to reset it, just simply select the reset button here. Next, we can go to advanced controls and you can add acid wash and you can drag the slider to increase or decrease the level of acid wash. I actually really like the acid wash working with this design here. And then you can also add puff print uh, and it's the same process as adding that acid wash. So just drag it and you'll notice you get this really nice puff print effect. I find with the puff print, you wanna use one of the middle values to get a realistic effect. Um, so let's zoom back out and 
yeah, I'm happy with how we're looking so far. So the next step is adding animation. And we have two different animation presets. One of them is the walking animation, uh, but that is too fast. So we can use the animation speed slider to slow that down. And it gives your designs uh, a more dynamic effect and brings it to life. Uh, with this particular product, I really like the wind simulation. And again, you can speed up or slow down that wind simulation. So let's stick with the wind there. And finally, you can add camera animation. So the first option is the classic 360. And you can also add the 360 plus zoom in and zoom out. So let's go with the 360 zoom in, zoom out. And everything is as I want it. So let's export the design. You've got three options for the export. You can export as an image, a video, or a 3D model. So first I'm going to show you how to export the video. Simply click and you can see it says stop recording and save. And when you're ready to stop the recording, simply click once more. And you can see it's come into our downloads here. Um, you can also export an image and finally export a 3D model. So with the 3D model, you can em embed it on your website. And we have another YouTube tutorial showing you exactly how to do that. Um, so that's everything. Thank you so much for watching. You can use these exports to market your brand and increase audience engagement and hopefully increase sales. So if you're interested in that, go to virtualthreads.io and get started for free today. See you next guys. See you next time guys. Peace.